Happy Friday the 13th from Anderson Forge um, here in on the edge of the greater metropolitan Watsika, Illinois area. Anyway, um, got another knife to show. It's another white iron hunter that I, I just finished up and uh, it's headed out tomorrow morning. Um, this is how one of my hunters looks in the sheath. It's a wet molded sheath, hand stitched. You know what they mean when some guy says, my sheaths are hand stitched. You know what that means? It means he doesn't have a sewing machine. Anyway, it's a wet molded. Um, well, they lock in and, and uh, of course, if you fall off your horse in the middle of the stream, the water will drain out. There's our knife. Here's our white iron hunter that I named after a lake in the beautiful Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness, northern Minnesota. And this is just some rocking stabilized spalted maple I got from Jim Coffey and his lovely bride in Atlanta. Um, little Woody's stabilized woods. But this, this maple just has something different going on everywhere you look it's just there's something else it's just radical um some of don hansen's old school w2 um with hamon the differential hard display of the differential hardening even have hamon along the spine that just i like how that turned out 416 guard and a takedown affair. We'll just uh, do that real quick. I always like to demonstrate that for those who might be coming across this the first time. And seriously, I brought the wrong wrench. I will be right back. Okay, we might have a little more success with the right size wrench. Let's try this again. There we go. It's a eighth inch wrench instead of a three sixteenths. This is a stainless steel socket head cap screw that I so tap, thread, you know, and then silver braze into a, might be able to see the silver braze line right there. Um, 1032 thread. Now this is what I like to show, how I take a knife apart. This, this is for the new owner he doesn't have one of these but rather than just grab this handle and knife and pull everything off i take my thumb push against the guard there and pull that handle off leaving the guard on the knife i want to take them up off there separately the handle has two 16th inch diameter stainless steel dowel pins that fit into the guard. I'm not going to drag this out. Here's um, what's going on fit wise on this knife. Where is it? There we go. Alright. Let me see what's going on. Slider back on. This knife even holds together without screw in. Anyway, that's our white iron hunter. And uh, I always love it when these things get on people's belts and get used. That's why I make them. That's how I make them. I make them to be used. So anyway, a little hot right now to be out using knives. Maybe this fall she'll go hunting. So anyway, there you go. White iron hunter. Anderson Forge. Stay cool. And uh, play with sharp things. Until later.